Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to install Docker on Linux. So I'm going to be using Ubuntu, but it's more important to understand that this is a very complicated tutorial, one that's so complicated I'm not going to bother going through setting up the the term the, the terminal commands for you guys because it's just going to be me sitting here typing into the terminal a bunch as you can see i've added everything that i need to get it going and i'm going to do the install in a second please check the description there's an article that goes in depth on how you can get the docker software installed and then from there in the video once you get it installed you know we'll go over how to use it in the video, but I'm not gonna go through and uh, do everything I did here because it's it's literally just me typing a ton. So not it doesn't make for the best entertainment, but, but regardless, to get started, once you've added all of the software that you need to get the container software installed, what you would do is do sudo apt install docker ce. Now this is going to add a couple of packages to your system. This can be run on Ubuntu server, it can be run on Ubuntu desktop, it really doesn't matter. As long as you have Ubuntu or Debian or Fedora that's officially supported, it also has support for CentOS and other enterprise distributions. And it also has a regular generic Linux installer too if you want to do it that way. But as you can see, I've got the software installed. Unlike a lot of other things, Docker isn't going to show up if I search for it in here. It's not the kind of program. The first thing you're going to need to do as soon as Docker is installed is you're going to need to enable it with systemd. So to do that, you do sudo systemctl enable docker. This will use sysv init and all this other stuff to make sure that the Docker service is starting when your system starts. To make it start automatically, that's what you do, but to make it start right now, you would do start docker. Now we know that it's started. If you want to restart the service, you would do restart. If you'd like to stop the service, change it to stop, but for the sake of the guide, we're not going to do that. So a lot of packages for docker are on docker hub. So the Docker Hub has a lot of different things, a lot of enterprise software and specialized tools. So for this example, I'm going to get Nginx. Now that's a web server. It's used for a lot of development. It's very, very important for a lot of how internet stuff is done online. They've also got different other tools, not so complicated tools, but to get the container, it's a simple command. It's uh, su to you know sudo s to get root and then you would do docker pull nginx now it grabs the nginx container right away and then as we know by reading this reference guide we know how to use the nginx container you can also get something like plex probably yep and uh, you could pull a plex right here a plex setup straight from the Docker Hub. It's got a ton of different software. I think it even has something like MB. It's got, uh, it's got a lot of different stuff. It goes over exactly how to get it running. A lot of corporations and software developers, they like to, You know they like to they like to explain in detail how to get their software working so if you want to use docker on your server or your desktop to get applications this is definitely the way to go so guys just a quick overview on how to get docker running for linux please check the description below for a in-depth explanation of how to get it running for your linux distribution 